It is back! It's Sunday Fun Day! Yay! And once again, I am set decoration. Yeah, she is just set decoration, I am afraid. Because I had to work, and from what I hear, I missed a really great movie. Wow, well, step on my toes, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Hey, I gotta say something. Yes, Sunday Fun Day is here, <laughs> We're, and I am going to talk about The Accountant with Ben Affleck, the... All the Ben Affleck movies that have come out this year, easily the far superior movie. <laughs> Like How many come out? Two. two. Yeah. Same. Hey. Only two. <laughs> this is far and away better than Batman v Superman. And the opening credits were better than Batman v Superman. Yeah, acting wise, he's not bad as Batman. It's just what the material he was given is like. Mm -hmm. Yes, but instead of talking about a shit movie, let's talk about one of the really damn good films that have come out in a while. One of the best thrillers, one of the best really smart action films, even though it's technically not really an action film, but that's fine. But also one of the better dramas to have hit in probably eight years, I can think of. Or no, maybe Argo would be slightly maybe ahead of this, but even then that's like, you're splitting hairs here and there between is this better, is that better, is this better, is that better? I don't mm -hmm. know. It's like, they're both really good movies. And that's the thing, The Account is a very damn good movie. In fact, it's a great movie. I I have actually been kind of looking forward to this, mostly because the trailers told me he's an accountant, he has some shady stuff that he kind of does. Alright, well what more is there? That's all you will know. The trailers for this movie have just been fantastic. They give away nothing about this movie, and having watched this, I'm like, those trailers gave away none of the ending, Gave away none of the twists. There were actually a couple of really smart twists they kind of put into the movie. And I was like, oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> that were really damn good. Really smart. But at the same time, they were very intriguing trailers. I know you, you saw a few. Yeah, I've seen the trailers. Like you said, they didn't really tell you what the movie is about, which... To me, it's kind of annoying. It's like, what the hell is this movie about? It's like, is it, why should I see this movie? I mean, yeah, you don't want to give away the whole thing, but... Well, that's the thing. I would say for the trailers, since they don't want to give away as too much about this movie, that's what worked. Because it's really, yeah. if you delve more into this, you're going to give away this movie. Yeah, because movie trailers nowadays, like, they either don't tell you what it's about, like, just the biggest clips. It's like... I tell them nothing. Or they'll show the final scene of the movie. Yeah, or they'll like give away the whole movie. It's like, thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like. It, yeah, it seemed to be a decent, like, middle oh, ground. Oh, what is this? What is this? I have to go like, see, it, like, see what kinda, it is. Like, it kind of, it tells you what it's about, but at the same time, it kind of holds back. Mm -hmm. Kind of leaves out a mystery. Like, it's like just enough, seems. Yeah, and this movie, ah. Uh, this movie really was just so good. I am so in love with this movie after watching this. <laughs> and I had to miss it. Yeah, you missed, like I said, you missed a <sighs> damn fine movie. To summarize this movie, I really don't want to give away a whole lot because if I do, it's going to make you not want to go see it. It's like, ah, oh, now, now from this. Like, no, go see this movie. I'm going to go ahead and just ruin any anticipation upon whether I'm going to say yes to go see it or not go see it. Go see this movie. It is a spectacular film to try and watch. It's a great spectacle. That's why I was originally trying to say this one of my spectacular was so <laughs> drawn out. <laughs> but it is a very pretty looking movie, strangely enough. Even though it's meant to be very minimalistic in a way. There is the slightest bit of CGI and even then the CGI is just there because it because we have to have, you know, flashes of gunfire. Yeah. But really, it's on, like the few times it's used, it's used very well because it's like flashes of gunfire like at night at one time. And it, the one scene in particular I'm talking about, which I'm not going to say anything else about, it helps to light it up because it's supposed to be very dark, almost a little confusing, but those flashes of gunfire helps you be able to see everything, strange enough. It's just a really great looking so scene. Pretty, so pretty much the movie is 
beauty and simplicity. Yes. Of. Whereas, um, nothing against Mad Max, but Mad Max was a spectacle, but there was a lot to it. You could see a lot of the work and the makeup and the yeah. actual physics of, or them actually building the sets of the cars and all this and that because the cars actually were the set pieces and the mm -hmm. actual setting of the movie this movie holds back a lot more but it works just as in Mad Rack's Fury Road where that worked this works in its minimalism it also helps it's shot very well like the only few times the camera gets really shaky is in this like really tense scene you're doing this the whole time and it's the only time it's shaky but it's panned back just the right amount to where it's not like here you're four inches from Ben Affleck's forehead no you're like you're getting enough to where you're seeing what's going on and you're like oh that's happening oh one of those movies you wouldn't want to see in 3d no it actually this movie 3D would add nothing to this movie because mm -hmm. there's no real like scenes of like oh here's big long stretches of whatever. Mm -hmm. But no, it's just the shot of how when they do the gorilla style handheld, which um, Paul Greengrass is infamous for, where his where Jason Bourne failed because every scene looked like we were watching a drunk man trying to walk. This uses that type of style very minimalistically it uses it only in scenes where it's important scenes where you're supposed to see the action very fluidly the camera is very fluid it's tracking it's actually um, steady whenever it's supposed to be very jarring very uh, brutal it's a brutal kind of image but it's pulled back just far enough to where you can actually see what's going on not like everyone's like here look at this here's his toe do you see what's going on or the mechanic. The mechanic, how you know, it got a lot close to the action a lot of the times. Mm -hmm. This one does not do that at all. It only gets close to the action once, really, and it's meant to be. It's a very tense scene where Ben Affleck is having to take care of these two guys who are threatening these people he know. That's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> and yes, uh, if you're wondering, yes, Ben Affleck's a... a cold-hearted killer but in the best ways and really that's all I want to tell you I just want to keep gushing on this movie because it's so good it was so damn good I love this mm -hmm. and it's so sad you didn't get to see it I know you wanted to go see this especially now that I'm telling you it's so good it's just awesome they're you're eventually gonna go take me to see it right yeah I'll take like Ninja Turtles and yeah I can either take you to go see it either this year or like we can wait till it gets on DVD because I'm going to buy this film. I mean, people are like, um, what's his name? Jeremy Johns? Or, yeah, I think it's pronounced his name a little funny, but uh, uh, Jeremy J A H N S Johns, I think it's how it's pronounced. I can't, I'm sorry if you're watching this. First off, hey, a famous YouTuber's watching me. But um, he has like a rating scale of like he would buy it on Blu ray. Or Awesome Tacular, which I think is his main thing. This one, in my books, would be one of them Awesome Tacular, but I would buy this on Blu-ray instantly. <laughs> like, as soon as it's on Blu-ray, mm, my, tell them mine, I don't care. Price, I don't care. And also, I was surprised Anna Kendrick is in this movie. I'm not a big fan of Anna Kendrick. She's just, she's a little sh swarmy in the worst of ways. And I had a feeling like, oh, they're going to try and force this love story. And they didn't. They totally did not go the love story route. Like, he cares about her. Uh, like, uh, Ben Affleck does. He has to save her from these guys or try and get her. I'm not going to say why. You just got to go see this film to go determine it for yourself. But Ben Affleck has to save her because these guys are trying to kill her. And they're all led by Shane from The Walking Dead. I'm so sorry, I do not know this poor man's name. Uh, he was also, he's the Punisher in Daredevil. And he's also getting his own show, yeah, Punisher. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I know you Oh, about. he is so fucking good in this movie, too. He is intimidative. He's really, mm. really, oh, he's intimidative. He intimidates. <laughs> he gets a V with it. But not only that, but he's also very, very likable, even as a kind of sociopath at times. Punisher. Yeah, he is. <laughs> you see why he became Frank Castle in Daredevil. It's like, this is exactly. He's crazy, but he's relatable. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's just awesome seeing him anytime he's on camera. Ben Affleck is so damn good, actually, in this. Ben Affleck, he pulls his, I'm not going to emote a whole lot, but that works. His character's not supposed to emote very much. His character's supposed to be very detached. He's autistic. If y'all were wondering from the trailer, it's like, is he autistic? Is he Asperger's? He has autism. Very high form of autism. Pretty much, he doesn't say it straight out, but he has Asperger's. Which is the reason why he's an accountant. He focuses on the numbers and all that. Yeah, I figured he had like, some kind of OCD thing mm -hmm. going on where it's like, yeah, and also they explain how he's able to fight and everything, and it's just a great story. <laughs> Even though this would annoy me, uh, <laughs> annoy me, <laughs> this would annoy me in many other movies. They have little flashbacks to how he got his training and all that throughout different parts of the movie. Normally, that would bother me, but since this movie, the whole time built up to kind of explaining more about his character. Really, this feels like it might be a sequel bait at times. Like, some of this is going to become like, we're going to get the account too. I count harder. Which I hope that's not the title. <laughs> Please don't go with the subtitle. Just make it two. I don't care. And don't do like taking three and to freaking. It'd be stupid. But they um, they cut throughout different parts of the movie showing his backstory and about his off uh, offspring <laughs> his upbringing is what I'm trying to say he didn't have a child as far as I know but they talk about his upbringing and it's actually really really well done and how they cut it in maybe here and there I would be like eh, maybe you could have shifted that a little bit earlier on like that's the biggest criticism I can think of and that and also dealing with Anna Kendrick Anna Kendrick's not bad. She's just there. Here. Yeah, she's kind of there. Uh, she's her usual kind of swarmy self, but she's at least likable enough. And thankfully, she's used very sparingly. <laughs> like, she's there just to, to push forward the plot of the movie. Which, if you're wondering, uh, Ben Affleck has to do numbers. That's what I'm going to give you. <laughs> he has to do numbers and people get hurt because of it. But yeah. She's used sparingly enough, and they don't go the love story route, which I was so thankful for. I'm like, I re really don't... He doesn't need to be with somebody, which was the thing I was thinking. I was like, he doesn't need to be with anybody. We don't need to have a love story that's going to detract from the story. Sort of like where Mechanic Resurrection didn't understand. It's like, oh, well, let's just magically have them get together for reasons. Mm-hmm this they don't go that route and because of that it's really really enjoyable and you can put up with Anna Kendrick <laughs> yeah I want to keep talking about it but I'm afraid I'm going to start spoiling the movie and that's the I don't want to spoil this opposite of the girl on the train where I didn't want to spoil that mostly because I it is a mystery that was a mystery film even though it was a giant piece of shit and you could guess from the trailers what was happening still I didn't want to spoil it this I don't want to spoil. Not only is this a mystery in most terms, it also is just a fantastic movie. This is far and away, like I said earlier, one of the best thrillers you're going to see. Jason Bourne got nowhere closest. This is better than all the Bourne films. This is so, it's smarter, it's funner, and it shot better, which is some. It's like ah, a movie that knows what minimalism actually means <laughs> and can do it correctly. It's so awesome. <sighs> yes, I love this movie. I couldn't tell. Yeah, I must say I, I figured out subtle now. <laughs> oh, one cup? Since you don't want to spoil it, you don't want to say too much. So why don't you just you know come to a stopping point, and give your rating? Yeah, I guess I'm better because I'm just gonna keep gushing. Like, oh yes, yeah, oh yeah. Like I don't want to say too much even around Megan simply because I don't want to spoil her to this movie. Although I fear I might be building this up a little too much in my back. Oh, that was good. Well, that's good as you're saying. But <laughs> like, to me, it's like there are some little like filmmaker touches that like really resonate with me. Sort of like with, um, again, that we already spoke about, Mad Max Fury Road, where I am a very visual person. I love movies that look very visually stunning and that movie just, oh the whole time. Just, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that'll probably be the thumbnail, no anything. 
But yes, if I can give this a rating, despite the fact that uh, a few scenes I could say, it's like, oh, replace that uh, background scene, maybe there. It's a small editing issue. I'd say there's a couple nitpicks. Yeah, it, that's the thing. The most I could say is maybe a nitpick here and there. It's a 10. I mean, I know I've given a 10 a couple of times now. But yes, this is... Yes, I know 10 is like, oh, well, that should be perfect. No movie's ever going to be perfect. Like, Captain America Civil War was a 10, despite the fact that I thought the villain wasn't as well-developed as I was original. Thank you, though. More I've seen this movie a couple of times. More, I'm like, he's actually better developed than I thought. Mm -hmm. Even though I would still like him to be in the Simo mask. Mm -hmm. But that's a fan. That's a fan who loved Baron Simo. But that, I mean, that's a minor, minor nitpick at that. And also, like, I was like, oh, the revenge thing. But now even I think about it, it's like, okay, yeah, I'd be pissed too. I was Black Panther. But it is actually an <laughs> interesting story that they go into more in Captain America's War. It's like, oh, yeah. They're trying to say, it's like, revenge only will serve you so far. That's actually kind of an interesting idea. Revenge leads to hate. Yeah. Hate leads to <laughs> suffering. Suffering leads to... Uh, what was it? What was the next thing? I don't know. But all I know is Somehow Arval... Somehow dark side. Yeah, Arval de Torian ripped that speech off. And I was like... <laughs> when, I'm, when it's 8 o'clock in the morning, I've had about an hour and a half of sleep. I will look like this go, huh? Why'd you have only an hour and a half of sleep? Oh, I just couldn't sleep real well that night. I said, you knew we were getting up early to go graduate that day. I still couldn't sleep for the crap. Yeah, um, accountants of 10. If you or have any reservations about this movie, like, oh, I'm not sure is it going to be as good as the trailers are making it out, it's better than the trailers. Like, I was looking forward to this from the trailers. And the trailer sold me on it, and they, the movie delivered above and beyond anything I could have asked for. So, yes, go see The Accountant. It was a fantastic film. Um, there's, I, I was so happy to have a good movie in a while. I didn't have one. <laughs> like, the most I have is Miss Peregrine. It was mediocre. Mm. And last week was going to shine. <laughs> it's bad trying to follow one week up with that mm -hmm. it is so much of the really down low really up high mm -hmm. oh but yes next week though will be a still an act this will be a more of an action film though it's you have spy elements pardon me Ooh, sorry a little belch and that is we're going to go see jack reacher never back down never go down i don't know as a sub down it's jack reacher 2 i've seen you I haven't seen the first one. I will show it to you, because if not, I will just buy it at the Walmart, because they have it for like four bucks. Man, mine? <laughs> it's actually a really good movie. I like the first Jack Reacher. It was fun. Some I know my mother doesn't much care for it, mostly because she... Or she likes it, but she doesn't like Tom Cruise's Jack Reacher. And I'm like, eh, you can only find so many six-foot-tall Aryans in the world. Hiller kind of nicks that, and people want to be it's like, oh. Mm. Yeah, First Jack Reacher is good, so I'm hoping this one will still follow trying to being fun and good. It, as long as cinematography isn't Jason Bourne, I'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, we will be back next week. Maybe the Megan will be back with me. Hey, or but, maybe I'll be working again. Yeah, it would suck for you to go, oh, this movie was fantastic too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she gets so mad, especially if she ends up having to work on Doctor Strange weekend. Uh huh, that'll really feel like. Yeah, and then she only gets to see the Inferno. That would be your luck. The Inferno? Yeah, new Dan Brown movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be confused because I haven't seen the other two. I was about to say, didn't that follow the other two? It's uh -huh. like, yeah. I, I seen a little bit of Da Vinci Code. It was weird. I haven't seen, like, Angel and Demons or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. it's like, not very good. It's like, um, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, we'll see I, the Inferno in two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. I think I would almost rather that than, than work. <laughs> that, especially the day I had. Oh my <laughs> god, I killed a couple people. <laughs> well, instead of kill people, go watch <laughs> Ben Affleck go kill some people in the account. And like I said, we'll see you next week with Jack Reacher Dos. So, I will see you all later. <laughs>